we're set to shoot fire right now. Hey everyone, what is going on? Today I'm here with Stephen Haas, the robot. He is a, would you just want to say brand new YouTuber? Oh, uh, pretty new, yeah. <laughs> so he has 800 subscribers, but he has some of the most original and amazing content. This is the flamethrower gauntlet, actually, that we saw at Maker Affair. And it just so happens that he lives in Pittsburgh. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to really level up some of my gadgets because he knows more of like, the programming side of things. Well, I've been working on flamethrowers for about eight years or so on and off. This is the culmination of all the research and like the testing that I've done through it. It's got a custom circuit board. It's got a big old propane tank. It has a built-in taser for ignition, all kinds of cool stuff. So we're gonna throw it on, give it a whirl. I've got my fire extinguisher because through all my time testing flamethrowers, I've realized that this is the absolute most important thing to have on hand. I have caught on fire a couple times, but <laughs> this has saved me every single one of them, so. You didn't tell me that part. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, I've caught on fire a couple times. <laughs> it's not the best. Now don't forget to leave a comment below what you want us to try and light on fire. Maybe a bunch of fireworks all at once, or a birthday cake, or maybe we could try and do some like, Fallout theme cooking with a flamethrower gauntlet. All right, so let's throw this thing on cool. and I'll have the uh, fire extinguisher ready. There she blows. All right, so we literally have one tank left uh, to get a really good shot. Steven's gonna show us some of the board here. Why don't you go ahead and fire it up? All right, so this pin right here is my emergency stop. When I plug that in, the whole system boots up and in case anything goes wrong, I can just pull it out and the whole thing shuts down. So once I put it in, it goes into safety mode. So nothing's gonna happen, no gas is gonna come out right now. If I press the center button, then I go into torch mode. And then on this little hand piece up here, I have this thing by my thumb and I can push up on it. And that actually moves the servo on the back of my forearm. All right, this guy's almost in there. Great, and this is just a standard like propane camping tank, which you use to like cook food while you're camping. You can get them at the hardware store for like two and a half bucks or something. Pin. Pin. Safety pin. Yeah, so we are, we're set to shoot fire right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the safety off, prime my servo so a little gas is coming through, and then, Whoa! There we go. <laughs> so I can make a little more fire come out here. There we go. So this is full fledged on like a half full tank. Um, and in case something goes wrong again, I can turn it off mainly with just my hand here. Like that, all the fire goes away. And I can pull the pin too, which will do the same thing. There we go. <laughs> There's the full fire. God, some days that taser just works so well. Cool. <laughs> that never gets old. Oh, that was a cool shot. Oh, I remember why this is happening. I have to bring it to like 90 for this part. That was a pretty cool shot too. <laughs> I built this one in about a month and a half before this Maker Fair. So usually I'll work for like a month hardcore before Maker Fair, and then I won't touch it again for like a year and a half. <laughs> and it's also a lot less scary than people think. Like I can do this, and like it just feels a little warm. Like it's really not that spooky. It's just kind of knowing the limitations, you know? Exactly. Yeah. That was sick. You're just like, I have complete control. <laughs> So as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of tasers and stun guns. I had the taser glove way back in the day, I had the taser knife, I had the taser. I've basically done every single iteration of a taser. <laughs> so I'm pretty psyched about this. It reminds me a lot of the Joker's little buzzer thing. It's my lethal Joker buzzer. One by one, your five senses will leave you. Put it there, Batman. Ah, shit. <laughs> That actually hurts, man. <laughs> yeah, it's no joke. It's like 30,000 volts or something. 
kind of like a two-part thing going on. Yeah, like might as well throw an extra weapon into it while I'm at it, you know? Kill two birds with one stone. I definitely like that. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta try this thing on. Alright, let's do it, man. This is so exciting! <laughs> bah! Yes! It feels so powerful. Yeah, man. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, God. I love this PCB board. I feel like Buzz Lightyear with this little thing. I need to flip a screen up. I have a red laser pointer. <laughs> like a sight, almost. You know, like a laser dot. Yeah, which I've been trying to do something with a laser. I had Banggood sent me a 15-watt uh, laser, and I have no idea how to like get this thing running. So <laughs> this guy is going to hopefully help me out with it. Keep an eye out for that one. All right, so fireball mode? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Fireball mode. This, why didn't you talk about this earlier? <laughs> I want the fireball I'm, mode. I'm still tuning the software for that one. Oh, it smells like a fart. <laughs> it's like a fart blaster. Wait, build up pressure. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> so this is like three. It's a fart blaster, it's like... A taser and a Chemical flame. warfare, a taser, and a flamethrower. Yeah. This is amazing! <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's all we need to do is melt the camera. <laughs> it's getting a little toasty. Yeah, oh yeah, you feel the heat for sure. So you said if you like, tilt your hand up, it makes yeah. it feel you'll, get a, you'll get a bigger burst. There you go. If you want to see more flamethrower content, you can click on this video right here. And if you want to see some of those videos, you can click over right in here. Put a lot of effort into building this and it definitely deserves some more screen time. So leave a comment on what we should do, maybe upgrade it, maybe light some cool stuff on fire. You guys decide and go check out Steven's channel. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative.